The wind is variable by nature. If we want to derive energy from the wind, as for example when sailing, we need to be able to adapt to the changing conditions. Birds and bats can do this with ease. They change the geometry of their wings, not only in flapping flight, but also when soaring, like these gulls. If you watch them carefully, you will see that they flex their wings into a more streamlined shape during gusts, and then extend them outwards during the lulls. We can learn from this when we design and make sails. Indeed, they have provided the inspiration for the idea that I'm going to show you now. Sails are very much like wings. The only real difference is that they're held vertically rather than horizontally. Sails have to cope with a wide range of weather conditions, from balmy breezes to howling gales. In strong winds, it is necessary to reduce the sail area. This can be done by reefing the sail, rolling it or folding the lower part of it, or by changing to a smaller sail altogether. I'm going to show you a different approach. It is a mast and sail that change shape according to conditions. Well, Colin, we've seen how birds fly and they can adjust the geometry of their wings as they do so. I thought it would be a good idea to apply that same principle to the design of sails. I'd like to show you the idea which I call the transition rig and for which I've taken out a, a patent. Now, we'll start from this. This is a conventional windsurfing rig and as you're, I'm sure, familiar, it has a, a mast along the leading edge. It has a boom attached to the mast and the sail is tensioned out to the back of the boom in this way to give a nice aerofoil section, which gives a very efficient sail. The problem is that when you choose the size of sail, um, you do it for the conditions which prevail. If it's a strong wind, you select a small sail. If it's a light wind, you would select a larger sail. But then, when you're sailing, the conditions can change. So I thought it would be important to develop a sail that could adapt. That's what I call the transition rig. So we'll start with this one. This is a model to show the rig as it is when it's extended, as it would be for a light wind. Mm -hmm. And then the intermediate stage is this. In a slightly stronger wind, the mast itself becomes flexed, and the sail changes its shape to adapt to that. And then in a stronger wind, the rig becomes even more swept back, the mast is more flexed in this way, and the sail adopts a new shape. Now this is brought about by the sailboard sailor holding onto the boom. As the sailor leans out more across the water, there's more downforce on the rig, causing it to flex in this way. It's probably easier if I show you on a full-size prototype. Okay, we're going to have a look. Right, Colin, this is the mock-up of the, of the prototype rig. If you pull downwards on the boom, we'll notice that the mast flexes into this shape. And in fact, you're working against this tensioning webbing that runs along the length of the mast. If you let go, the mast extends again. If you pull downwards, the mast flexes, as it might during a strong wind, and then when you let go of the downforce, the mast can extend again. Well, that's it in theory. Let's go and try it out on the beach. <laughs> So there it is, the new transition rig. 
It has two unique properties. It adapts intelligently to changing conditions and it folds after use without the need to dismantle it.